So like, who are you? How'd you get started with TikTok shit and like your journey actually? I kind of just started TikTok because like, I just saw my friend do it honestly. Like he made a TikTok and like, I didn't like, I just wanted to make a TikTok too. Just make funny videos posted on my, my Snapchat story for my friends. Yeah. And then they just started getting some views and I'm like, okay, maybe I can like, you know, do this for real a little bit. Yeah. And that's kind of what happened. That's it. Yeah. Like right. I had no plan on like, getting a lot of followers I just kind of was for fun and then I just ended up getting followers in the process so like bro I just watched your 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 mama made some rice and shit and then he said like mm -hmm. Africa or some I don't know it's like one of your recent videos oh the one with the rice and stew yeah yeah bro yeah. you're you're like I like when you embrace your I like people when they embrace of who they are they integrate their content mm -hmm. with who they are That's that's nice. Like rather than faking it. Yeah, I try to like live up to my Mr. Africa name, so I try to bring a lot of like you know African culture content into my into my channel. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. How, how do you structure your videos? How do you how do you make them? Do you sit down at night? Do you make your ideas? Do you write them down? Do you think of them? Like all my ideas, like all my videos, like I do them like on the spot. Like I don't have any drafts. So like when I think of an idea, like I make it right there so I don't forget about it. And like it's gonna come out the best if I do it right there instead of like, you know, doing it in two days and like the idea doesn't process the same. Yeah. So like I try to do everything right then and there when I think about it. So so you're just scrolling on TikTok and you get an idea, you just do it. Yeah. Pretty much. Like or I'll just be sitting like playing a game on PlayStation or watching a TV show and I just think of an idea, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to do this. But like don't you like You, you you just go straight away and do it, or like do you take a few minutes to like make it even better? Yeah, sometimes I like sit down. I'm like, all right, I got this idea. Like now, what can I do to make it better? And like sometimes while I'm recording it, I'll even change it up right there to even like improve it right there. Yeah. What are some tools that people need to like succeed at TikTok? Consistency is definitely one, because the algorithm is always changing. Hmm. And like, they have to be like determined like they don't shouldn't be like set back if, like one video doesn't look good maybe five videos don't look good because you could have like 10 videos in a row that do bad and then there's gonna be one that hits like three million views so you just gotta be like confident in your videos and like other people too yeah i'm mean, like bro like that's true like other people said like consistency but i didn't know the reason but like now you gave me the reason because like the algorithm changes and, like bro some people tell yeah. me like How are you like fucking? How, how do you have like 17k followers? I'm, and they say like I want to be like that. And I, sh and I teach them and I teach them what I learned. They do like two videos, they f quit. Like what the? F yeah. Like they, they don't have think the they just gonna like it all out in like three videos and like that's not how it works. Sometimes you gotta do it for a little while. Mhm. Mm True. How how do you think someone can go viral on TikTok? gotta be very original original some, some people go viral for doing a lot of nothing to be honest but like i don't like watching that on my for you page but like original content like that nobody's done before at least in my opinion i always goes viral okay cool 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 what's your biggest fear my biggest fear i don't even know if i have any real fears you know why why Because you're black, and black people have no <laughs> fears, bro. We don't fear nothing. No. Now we got so. Probably my only fear is just being unsuccessful. Like, just <laughs> not going anywhere. <laughs> like, if I just end up, like, not going anywhere in life, like, that's really one of my one biggest fears. But, 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 bro, like, being happy is being successful. Like, success equals yeah. happiness, bro. Yeah. That's true, that's true. I mean, like you can have, you can have like any materialistic thing you want, but you can be unhappy still. So is that success? Is that success? You're right. You're right. You're right. You can be. I mean, bro, like you can have like all that shit, and you be, you can be like a person. You can feel shit. Like you have no friends, no, no real connections with any, with any people, family members, and shit. Yeah, like that. that's not successful. Um, no, you're right. What do you want people to remember you for? Oh, what do I want people to remember for? I just want to, I don't know, like, I just want to be in their mind just for whatever reason. Like, if they remember me, that's all that matters. <laughs> like, they can all remember me for different reasons, 
but as long as I'm there as a memory, like I'm, I'm, I'm dead. If you're a drug dealer, they remember you as a drug dealer. That's okay. They'll remember me as the best drug dealer they they ever met. Like, yeah, it is you what should it be is. the best drug dealer, not like an average exactly. drug dealer. Like you should, like I'm they should the see you every single second before you die. Like drugs over there. Yeah, if they meet any other here. drug dealers, I'm on their mind. Like. Damn, I wish I went to Africa as the drug dealer. What's the best advice that you have received? Most of my best advice comes from my mom. She tells me so much different like things for every different scenario. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I would have to go through like a whole long list of things she's told me. I, don't even, I can't even think of one right now. Okay, what's the most impactful like advice she, she, she has given you? Impactful advice. It probably would have to do with like other people like be careful who you keep around you like kind of thing like don't tell everybody what you do because some people use it against you kind of thing but yeah yeah i mean like i, I agree with the first one because like i feel like for example if a house has a very good foundation then like you cannot throw mm. the house down but like it has a shit foundation then everyone mm. anyone can like throw it down like if you have like good family members and like good friends so like good circle you mm. cannot like you cannot separate Tear your hands out. if you, if you yeah. keep it together except if, if, mm. if you have fucking breaks okay <laughs> that's a different story mm. this, is, this is what i've been telling like every single one what's the, what's your worst advice that you have that you have received the worst advice i've ever received it'll probably be about from my friends yeah <laughs> about like maybe relationships or something they're, I don't know. They're, they're terrible. <laughs> they're terrible. Do, are you still friends with them? Oh, yeah, I'm still friends with them, but, like, relationship advice is probably not their forte, you know? I wouldn't go <laughs> to them for any relationship advice. I think you should ask your mama, bro. I think your mama is a legend. She gives really good advice. Probably. She always gives the best advice. What are you thinking about, like, content-wise, about the social media platforms, about where the attention is going, with, like... U.S. banning TikTok, anything in general about the algorithm? Yeah, so like U.S. banning TikTok, like even if TikTok gets banned, I'm gonna continue making content. Like I'm probably gonna focus more on like maybe YouTube and like do more Instagram comedy or be making the same videos and transfer them over, kinda. Mm -hmm. So like me making videos won't stop. Like if TikTok goes down, TikTok is just a platform I post it on, mm -hmm. kinda. What are you thinking, like content-wise? What are you thinking of, like, what's one mistake you're doing with your content? What's the biggest thing that you think you're doing right with your content? See, every day is like a learning process when it comes to my content. Like, if you were to scroll down to like my first videos, some of them had bad lighting. Maybe I wasn't clipping them right. Music was kind of off. Like, every day I'm trying to like improve. But you know, right now I feel like I'm at the best that I can right now, but you know, I could always get better. What's, what's the biggest mistake you're making right now that you think you must stop doing? Right now, maybe my videos are too short, I guess. So, so, so you're playing of like making your videos longer? Yeah. So, so you can have like more average time? So more average watch yeah. time? Yeah. Like with my most recent videos, like you said, you saw them, they were like maybe like 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Like maybe like, I can make them longer somehow try and stretch them out. Okay. And what's the, what do you think is like helping you succeed? In like TikTok? Uh, what is what? What do you think is helping you succeed on TikTok? So something I succeed. Definitely just like a lot of New York comedy. Like people always, my videos about New York always went viral. So like, I feel like when it comes to like talking about New York City, mm -hmm. like I do well in that, and because, people like yeah. to see it. Because like, bro, I don't know if you know it. I mean, you, most likely you would know about this, but like TikTok promotes the videos, our videos, to the to the places around us. So like, they begin mm -hmm. from our country and then they go to other countries, maybe in like your case, other states and some shit. So mm -hmm. like, if you do something about America, like New York. 100% of the time we'll go to New York, not like 80%, 100% of the time. Initially we'll go to New York, so it, it's, it's like targeted plus wide, because like New York, there's a lot of people there that consume TikTok. 
Bro, by the way, like, is, is New York safe? Because I heard, like, New York, New York is dangerous and some stuff. Don't go there. They will, like, rob you. See, it's not, New York City isn't dangerous, like, if you're in the right areas. Like, everyone wants to go to Manhattan, and Manhattan is fine. It's uh-huh. like when you go to, like, certain areas of, like, maybe, like, Brooklyn or Bronx, like, because everywhere has its bad places, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, that's the same with New York. How much do you think about your legacy? My legacy? I haven't even thought about, like, a legacy, right? I'm always in, like, the now. What's, what's the most important thing that everyone should stop doing? The most important thing that everybody should stop doing? Yes, sir. Procrastinating. Like, if you want something done, you got to do it. Like, don't be putting it off to, like, tomorrow, I'm going to do it next week, I'm going to do it this. Do it, do it then and now. Yeah, but in most cases, bro, like, I think you should agree, you can agree with this also. For example, like, if you told me to go, like, go build a house, even if I know to build a house, I wouldn't fucking ever go because I hate building a house. I would never do it. But, like, tell me, tell me, like, we're going to do a TikTok video, I'm going to run there. I'm going to fucking run. I would even procrastinate. I don't care if it does have a shower. Like, I think people should find what, they're, what they love doing and there will be no yeah. procrastination. You right, you right. Are you happy? Oh, I'm very happy. Why? I'm always happy. Because look, life is good. Like I, I see everything, and I always find happiness from it. And like any negativity, I just like ignore it. So like I stay happy. How much do you think gratefulness plays a role in your happiness? Are you grateful? Do you think like how grateful you are? Oh no. I'm always great. I was taught to be grateful for like everything I get. So like every little thing I'm grateful for. It. And it does play a part into happiness. Because like if you're grateful for what you're getting, you're gonna be happy when you get it too. True. But bro, like, I don't know if you like actually thought of this. Okay, not thought. Realize this, but like since you're in America, you're actually fing one. Like America is like the best country in the world with the most opportunities. Yeah. Like man, you fing one. Like I don't know who I made guess. the decision for you to come to America, but like, go thank them. I don't know if it's your mom, your dad, I don't uh, know. I go back and thank my mom again. <laughs> Bro, your mama is a legend. Your mama the guru. My your mama, mama like... Dope. Dope, uh, man. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? The rudest? Yeah. Definitely a pit bull. Pit bull? A, a pit bull or maybe a... I don't know. What? A pit bull or a... Yeah, pit bulls, they're already aggressive. They don't even say a word. Come on, no, bro. You, you can't up, judge man? a dog by its breed. There are, there are some good I'll people. You. There's good pit bulls, but like, an untrained pit bull would definitely be very rude. Bro, I'm going to have to disagree on this. I'll put you a bet. I'm, I'm going to put a bet on this. Them, and pit, I'm gonna... bull, them pit bulls be crazy. No, don't believe it. I believe like every dog is nice. Even f- Chihuahuas. Nah, okay, except it Chihuahuas. On the owner. Hmm? Except Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas are a f- Chihuahuas, they just bark for no reason. Those those would definitely be rude. They'd be rude in Spanish. <laughs> Bro, I want to kick them. So like the the head flies off and like their neck is there like fucking <laughs> bleeding blood. Oh man. And and like mid-air, bro, someone's cooling you again, I bet. Yeah, my little brother. And little bro, is it, is it like an emergency? Uh, I think they have, they have an appointment like at two. What's the funniest joke you know by heart? The funniest joke I know by heart? I don't even think, I, I, I don't know. The funniest jokes, I don't even remember them. But I know I laughed a lot when I heard them. Is a cereal a soup? Huh? Cereal or soup? Yeah, is it a soup? I think so. I think so, right? It's cereal soup. I don't know. Well, well cereal, well, soup, you use water, though. Nah, not really. Mm. Cereal could be a soup. Cereal soup. I could jack that soup. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you lick your elbow? Um, I've tried. I've actually tried. I try again. Let's yeah, see. Let's see. We want, we, want to, we want to see you fail. The haters want to see you right fail. Now. You see it? Yeah, I fail. I can't. Yeah, I can't do it. Do you prefer to re- to take revenge or forgive? Forgive. 
forgive. I'm too lazy for revenge. Like I don't like that. Just takes up time of your day. I don't got time. Where from here? Like, what's the next step in your life, in your content, in whatever? Just keep making content and see where it takes me. Honestly, like I haven't really thought ahead. Like I still just do TikTok for fun. Honestly, I just have a lot more followers now. So, True. But what do you do? Do you, do you go to work? Do you study? What do you do? I go to school. Like, I'm in college. But, like, right now it's summertime. So, obviously I'm going to go back to school. But they're all going to be online because of coronavirus. Oh, so I'm yeah. just going to still end up being in my room making TikToks. And, like, you know, every now and then I go to my class on my, on my laptop. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. do you go to college just because you want to go to college? Or, like, do you just go because, I don't know. Do you enjoy well, school? School is like, it's eh, you know? Yeah. Like, with a good professor, like, I enjoy my classes, but, like, with a bad one, it's like, why am I here, kind of, you know? Mm-hmm. But, like, uh, how and, many like, followers college, do you have? Huh? How many followers do you have? Followers on TikTok? Yeah. I'm, I'm about to hit 500K. Like, I'm at, like, 495K. Don't you monetize some sh Oh, yeah, I do a little bit of advertisement, not, like, nothing crazy. Yeah, can you, like... Can you like do more so you can drop out of school or is it not enough? See right now like TikTok doesn't directly pay people but they are they have like a plan like so the only money I'm getting is like if like any company like contacts me to mm -hmm. like promote whatever it is they want to sell but other than that like nobody contacts me I'm not making anything. Yeah. So like there's I heard like there's a creator marketplace where like creators and businesses can like connect yeah. Is that helpful? Pretty useless. I haven't gotten any contact from that creative marketplace. And I've been in it for like a month or two now. Mm -hmm. Like I got accepted like when they first dropped it. Like I, it's been useless to be sitting there. Well, do you contact the companies or do they contact you? They contact you, but no company has even used it. Like they still email me and like DM me like the same way they was already doing. How many, how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? How many? What, sugar canes? Chickens. Chickens to kill an elephant? Yes, sir. Chickens to kill an elephant. I, I don't know. I, if you don't like it, maybe like three, four hundred chickens at an elephant. <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll peck it. They'll peck it down. What's the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? Like the weirdest thing a guest has done to my house? Yes, sir. The weirdest thing. Oh, man, my friends are best. Let's see here. The weirdest thing, lay on the table. What? That's it? Lay on the table was definitely one of the weirdest. Like, there was the, like all the chairs was taken up and stuff, and he just laid on the table. Bro, like, no sex, no vomiting, no, like, fucking a plant or some shit? See, but that wouldn't even be weird. That would just be like, yeah, that's tough, kind of, you know what I mean? Okay, that's Because not that stuff just be happening. Yeah, yeah. Any thoughts on climate change? Climate change? Yeah. Uh, not really. It's just it's getting hot. I don't want to be thinking about climate change, to be honest with you. Why? Because you're scared? Because, like, you don't care? You don't believe in it? Just it's not that care. I don't believe in it. It's just that, like, it's just not, like, a priority on my mind, kind of. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, maybe if it got more drastic. But people are saying, like, it is already crazy. Or I'm just, like, not seeing it. Yeah. Okay, you don't see, but, like, since I'm in Cyprus, I don't know if you know where Cyprus is. Do you know what Cyprus is? Uh, I don't know. It's under Turkey. You know Turkey? Yeah, I know what Turkey is. Okay, under Turkey, that is a very small island. Mm. Yeah, there. <laughs> We're there, okay? We're smaller than New York. We have a population of like 800k. I don't think all of them are Cypriots. Anyway, that was fucking brilliant, bro. Bro, last year we had like approximately 30 deaths of homeless people because of the heat. It was too much heat, so 30, 30 people died of the heat. It was like, that was, it was, it's fucking crazy, bro. Bro, here, fucking, is... people are getting dizzy as fuck. So we had the sent, we like, we kind of, we are so affected by climate change, it's unbelievable. I said I'm gonna have to really start paying attention to climate change, it's that, that bad. Yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking of like, doing more collaborations of like TikTokers and like influencers together, so we can like make a video together like and promote it for climate change from different like countries. Feel me? 
Yeah, yeah that's so, so it's international. Like maybe you from the US, me from Cyprus, another one from like Turkey, Japan, fucking Australia, or whatever the fuck is going on. Mm? Do you add pineapple and pizza? Do I add pineapple or pizza? No, that is not, that mix should be forbidden. That is not okay. Bro, don't you think it's, it's psychopathic? Yes, yes. Fruit do not belong, does not belong on pizza. But it's weird. Like, why pineapple? Like, would you put a grape on pizza? Like, come on, man. It's, it's not, it's nasty. I interviewed a vegan. Okay, I'm vegan too, by the way. But, like, that's irrelevant again. <laughs> but I interviewed a vegan on this fucking interview. And, like, they put also banana on the fucking pizza. Banana and pineapple? Are you fucking... That's disgusting. I don't know, bro. That's nasty. That's weird. That's really weird. Some people eat this weird stuff. Is water wet? Water is not wet. It wets other things. What the? So. What? The water is. So I've had this argument with so many people for like two hours. The water itself is not wet, but it can wet other things. Because you can't wet water, so water is not wet. Bro, I think I changed my mind of thinking that black people are like better than white people. You changed my <laughs> mind. <laughs> um, water is not wet. I'm not hearing it. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, by the way. Huh? Don't fucking beat me up, please. By the way, like, why isn't there like black swimmers? Black Olympic what? swimmers? We don't, we don't swim. Oh, no. Bro, there, like, uh, there's a racist joke about it, and then I'll be racist, and then I'll be killed. So, I don't want to say. <laughs> but we really don't be some Like, if you go go to a pool party, like, nobody's in the water. Like, we just chill. <laughs> Wait, we nobody or to... no black people in the water? Yeah, no black people in the water. Like, they go they go to pool parties and whole outfits. Like, they don't even go in, like, swimming attire, because they know they're not getting in the water. The f- like, that's how much we don't swim. Like, Why? We just be killing. I don't know. What the f***? I don't know. That's kind of weird. That's kind of, I don't know. It's just how, it's just how we are. Like, Team, so you, you don't go to the beach? We go to the beach, but like, only a, li- only a limited few is going into the, into the ocean. What the f***? Like, we staying on the sand. Have, have you ever committed a crime? Committed a crime? I don't know. I don't know if the feds is watching. I don't know. I don't know if the feds is watching. <laughs> bro, it was it was back, bro. It was like ages ago. You can't say it. But like, but but I you like become like when I was little. Bro, like listen, so before cute. you say anything and we expose you, you're gonna become a superstar and you're gonna get mm. and you're gonna host an Oscar, you may be cancelled mm. for this. So I don't know if well, you wanna say it. Stealing candy, and that's what I—that's what I've done. Like, I've stole candy from like the store. But I feel like everybody's done that at least once. Why candy though? At the time, I just always—I used to always after school go and get candy. And then there was just a brief period where I was just like, I don't even feel like paying for this anymore. Like, I'm just gonna. If you could say one thing to the entire world, what would it be? And Black Lives Matter. That's the one thing the whole world needs to hear. If you could do anything for a day, what would what would you do? Anything for a day. Be able to know the future. Like the whole like the whole next ten years. Yeah, that but, day. Yeah, but that'll be boring. Because like you will know what's How'd gonna that be happen. Boring? But then I could plan accordingly. I could win the lotto. I could know what where everything gonna happen. I could probably save a life. And you'd no. be like you'd be like a superhero. Yeah. Bro, is Kanye West actually gonna run for president? I have no idea. Like, it, that was a joke, then it wasn't, and then he said he's dropping out, then he's back in. I don't know what this man is doing. Like, he's a whole train wreck right now. Bro, I, I, are you thinking of voting for him? Uh, no, definitely not voting for you. <laughs> I know you're gonna, who you're going to vote. Trump. Trump. Oh, now nah, I voted for Trump. You know? I, I don't know. The choices I got for, for voting this year, I don't even know if I want to <laughs> cast a vote. Right? Bro, hopefully, not the best election. hopefully he doesn't win. Hopefully not. 
But like, even the other option is still eh. Yeah. Bro, like, literally, literally, like, when he was voted, like, he won the majority, the majority of voting, essentially. And then afterwards, I watched some videos of, like, saying who here voted for Trump, and, like, no one raised their hand. Like, no, the he majority, majority, majority voted. He won, he won Why are you not raising uh, your uh, fucking hand? College. He didn't win majority vote. He lost the majority vote. He just won the electoral college. What the fuck is this? So, boom, like... The way like voting works in America, like if a certain amount, like let's say a certain amount of Democrats vote, like the majority is Democrat in the state, then the whole electoral college for that state is given to that to that person. Kind of like let me see my. I don't know how to explain. Like let's say if more if more people of a, per, a certain party in the state vote for one person, then all the points for that state go to that person. And he won more states, but he lost the majority. So, so the people don't count. That that's pretty much what people will be saying. Like, you could like you could have less votes and still win just off winning states. So what the fuck is this? What what do you vote then? Technically, the people didn't even vote for him. The electoral college just kind of let him win. Does it does a straw have one or two holes? Just one long hole. You want to say why? Because it's just one long. Oh, like, so it's one. It's one hole with two endings. Who do, you, who do you like more, your mom or your dad? My mom. Bro, who is your mom? Like, we must know My her. mom is the, the greatest of all time. Like, I don't know. Like, I can't explain it. Greater than my mom? Probably. She's just the best mom. They, okay. Okay, now you just offended my mom and everyone's mom. Okay. I'm sorry. Like, nobody mom compared to mine. Why do you make amazing content? Why do I make amazing content? No, like, when I post it, I want other people to think it's amazing. So the fact that they think it's amazing means I'm doing something right. True. Do you think your content is amazing? I wouldn't post it if I didn't think it was amazing. Like, I'm, if I'm not confident in my own content, I'm not posting. Really? But if I can't like it, how somebody else is supposed to like it, you know? Yeah. But, so, if, if you do a video and you don't like it, you don't post it? My person, I'll probably change it. I'll probably do the whole video over if anything. I wouldn't do that. Fucking respect. I have, to, I have to like what I'm posting, or other people can like it too. If if you could have one superpower, what would it be? One superpower. See, whenever I think of this question, I think like, would other people have superpowers too? No. Because if then, I would want the power to like take other superpowers, so I can have as many superpowers as I want. Oh yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. No, they but cannot like have the superpowers. only person with superpowers? Huh? They cannot have superpowers. You can only have I have superpowers? Oh, uh, what will be my superpower? Probably to teleport. That would be cool as f Teleportation would definitely yeah. be like, the best power. Let's go to the White House. Then you'll be like next to Trump, and then you can beat him up. Take me back <laughs> home. Any weird guy can go to sleep. And I'd have the ability to teleport and I'd probably still be late to things. Like, I don't know. Well, what are you thinking about lately? Thinking about lately? School, coronavirus. Think about it, honestly. There's a new semester coming up and like, it's probably going to be online because of coronavirus and I uh, got to wear my mask. That's pretty much all I'm thinking about right now. Mm -hmm. Bro, to be honest, like, I think coronavirus helped you because like, it gave you more time to do your videos. Or am I wrong? It gave me a lot more time to focus on my videos. Bro, like, everyone is complaining about the coronavirus. Like, it destroyed the 2020. Bro, like, it helped you. It helped me because, like, it was my last year. I didn't know if I was going to finish school with good grades. So, like, mm -hmm. it made it easier for them since, like, some of my exams were, like, <clears throat> were cancelled. So I got, like, predicted grades from the last semester. And like, I feel like more, I feel like people would have, some people have died of car accidents, but now since like they didn't go by car, they weren't outside, they were quarantined, their life was saved. And they're fucking still complaining. Like, shut up. We done, bro. And any, any last words to the viewers? Uh, Whatever, stay bro. Stay safe, wear your face mask. <laughs> but thanks for coming on. Thanks for being cool. Thanks for wearing that shit there.
I don't know what the fun is. The fun is the fun. <laughs> and like, have a nice day, bro. Ah, uh, you too. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Peace.